Hello, everybody. You want to join? No? No. He's a bit shy. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, it's a great seeing you. Um, if you're not familiar with me or my channel, my name is Dan and I'm making DIY project and baking. So today DIY is a furniture project. Lately I see the herringbone pattern in like everywhere and it's been so trendy so I thought why not making it. Um, by the way, I want to tell you that um, I worked at a workshop again but you can make that project with only a jigsaw and a piece of wood that allow you to make a straight line. So without further ado, let's get to the video, shall we? First of all, I want to mention that I used the same piece of wood that I used from the cutting board DIY project I made a month ago. At the beginning, I took a piece of wood and with a table saw, I cut 1cm stripes and then taped them together. Now I cut all the pieces together when the end of the stripes faced the blade of the table saw. Unwrap all the pieces and assemble them on a piece of plywood. To make sure your pattern will be straight eventually, draw a line connecting the sides. With wood glue, start placing the pieces group by group and continue towards the bottom. Make sure to squeeze them to each other to prevent any unnecessary gaps. I took MDF and placed it above the herringbone pattern and with clamps apply pressure about an hour. Release the clamps and the MDF. I used tissue in between because if not the MDF was glued also. And tissue you can always send off. Notice you will end up with some gaps in between. Now I took wood filler and then pushed the paste into those cracks. It was so satisfying you have no idea how much. <laughs> then use a saw to remove the extra material from the edges and give it a good sanding. For the top part, as always, I'm starting with 8 degrees sanding paper, then 120, 400, and for the extra sanding, I used 1200 grit to get the shine effect. To create the sofa sleeves, instead two legs from each side, I went for one leg. I applied glue on both of the pieces, I waited for two minutes and clapped them together for an hour. If you're not a regular subscriber, subscribe down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because in October, I will have a new access to the workshop. Uh, so I could create like new project for you to see. Except that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.